Well, John Townsend is a geophysicist, uh, a geophysics professor at Victoria University, and he joins me now. Hi, John. What actually happened today? Good, Lisa. Well, this was a, a very deep earthquake, um, as you said, uh, beneath Tomaranui. It's about 200 kilometres depth. And because it was so deep, um, the waves that it produced spread out over, over a broad area, and that's why so many parts of the country felt it. But uh, it's, it's an earthquake. We have these earthquakes from time to time. The last big one was several years ago, and they, they really reflect um, the sort of internal contortions of, of the specific plate as it gets jammed down beneath the North Island, and it warms up and it's, it's contorted, and every now and again that uh, results in an earthquake like today's. People have said it was rolling, not sharp, but rolling and long. Is that also due to the depth? Well, definitely the uh, well. Look, it was a big earthquake, and big earthquakes produce uh, long seismic waves. Um, but depending on where you were in the country, I think you got quite a different flavour of shaking. Um, some places experienced really very little shaking. You know, around the Bay of Plenty and, and Hamilton and so on, and even Tomanui. And other places, including where I am in Wellington, we felt quite strong shaking that went on for quite some time. Uh, so it just sort of depends where you are in relation to the earthquake uh, and what sort of um, what sort of rock your your building or your or your location is built on. So you said obviously in Wellington you fought it, or you you felt it for some time. Can you describe it in a bit more detail? What was it like? Well, um, I was in my office and I felt um, the initial shaking, the, what we call the P waves. And I thought at the time that felt like an earthquake rather than a gust of wind. And I, in fact, told a colleague outside my office that that's an earthquake. And then uh, things went quiet for, for several tens of seconds, I would guess. And then there was quite strong shaking. And I, I thought it was severe enough that I needed to drop cover and hold. And so I did that. And once I emerged, I, uh, I started looking into what it was. But um, it was definitely strong shaking, the strongest we felt here for a while. And uh, I think in different parts of the country, it would have been really quite quite nerve-wracking. Is it unusual for it to be felt so far afield? Um, well, because it's a deep earthquake, um, it's felt broadly. So basically the deeper the earthquake is, the, as the waves are radiated, they, they form a sort of sphere that radiates out, out from the earthquake, a little bit like the, uh, the ripples that come out of a, um, a stone being thrown into a pool. And uh, so the deeper it is, the broader the area that feels it. And different parts of the country felt it to different degrees because the waves, the seismic waves, had travelled along different paths. And some of those paths um, enabled the waves to propagate very efficiently. And that meant that when they did arrive at the surface, they caused quite a lot of shaking. And in other uh, parts of the country, like, like Tobin and Nui itself, uh, the waves were propagating through quite sort of um, warm, sticky rock. And that caused them to lose their energy along the way. And so even though some places were closer to the earthquake than, let's say, Wellington or, or even Christchurch, um, they felt much less shaking. Um, at least the, the shaking was weaker, even if it went on for quite some time. Did we get any warning? Was there any sort of activity before it hit? No, no, you very seldom get warnings ahead of earthquakes, unfortunately. Um, it just They just come, and then uh, once they're finished, we, we tend to have aftershock activity. Um, in this case, the aftershocks will mostly be quite deep, um, but they'll go on for some time, and of course there's always the risk of an earthquake in New Zealand, so we always have to be prepared for something that's, that's big. Thank you. That is Dr John Townend, who is with Victoria University, and he's a geophysics professor.